Smart shopping campaigns have been around for a few months now and there are people who think or who claim that this is the best thing ever, like the best thing since sliced bread. With smart shopping campaigns you can take your account to the next level, like from here to here. Um, and then there are others, many others, who say that they never got them to work, right? So they are losing money with them and they are just not working and they are fluctuating a lot. So for a very long time I didn't really want to talk too much about them because we didn't test them enough. But now across multiple accounts we spent way over $10,000 on smart shopping campaigns. So I think I can give you an advice or two when it comes to um, smart shopping and this is what this video is about. So before we get started just two things. First of all let me know in the comments if you are using smart shopping ads right now and how they work for you. So do you see a positive ROI, a negative one? Um, what is it with smart shopping? Are you already invested? Let me know it would be really interesting to know. And number two is if you want to get a free one and a half hour training uh, straight from my course about how to test products with Google Ads, Google Shopping, then make sure to check the link in the description. It's not a sales webinar, nothing like that. It's just a free session straight from my course and you can watch it right away. So with this being said, Let's dive into the video and I want to talk about three different aspects of smart shopping here today. Let's get started with number one, what are smart shopping ads? As you probably know, smart shopping ads are designed to really take a lot of the tedious work off your shoulders. So when you run, smart shop when you run normal shopping campaigns, you have to do bids and negative keywords and you have to uh, decide which products should like show up more often than others and as I said, bids on the individual product level and so on and so forth. Um, and Google introduced smart shopping to put more of that work into the hands of machine learning. So the ideal thing here is that you can spend more time on like the creative and strategic tasks. You can write ads, you can think about new products that you want to test, you can um, optimize your feed, you can do all these things and let Google do like the tedious everyday work of optimizing the products for the right delivery and the right bits and all that stuff. So this is what smart shopping ads are really made for and I think that all of Google ads will go into this direction, right? Google ads now have a lot of different automated bidding strategies, smart shopping ads, and they will just do more of that so that you can focus on this really creative and strategic things and not this tedious, uh, not these tedious things. However, what they are not um, are like campaigns that will just make your overall performance better. It's not that you turn them on and suddenly you get sales coming in. It's really a time saver and they can be really helpful if you get like massive, massive conversions. And this is number two already. What is the ideal situation you are in to make best use of them? Well, First of all, you should have conversions in your account, uh, ideally in the past 30 days. And what I recommend here are between 30 and 50 conversions. I know that in the beginning you had to have 50 conversions to use them in the first place. I'm not quite sure whether this is the case anymore uh, because I've seen accounts just with like 10 to 15 conversions and they were able to use them. So I'm not entirely sure how it looks like right now. Um, but you should have 30 to 50 in the past 30 days to make best use of them. So if you're just starting out, don't use smart shopping. I know it's tempting because it feels like they will do it all for me, but this is not the case. If you get some sales with smart shopping while you're just starting out, chances are that you were just lucky. And what is also really important is that you have a decent budget. So if you run smart shopping campaigns on a $10 per day budget, chances are that it will take you a really, really long time until you get some really good results because they are optimizing itself and basically with every single dollar that you invest into them, they are getting better. And I would say that you can run a smart shopping ad in a good way from like $30 per day onwards, right? So we have smart shopping campaigns running at two to $300 a day and they are doing pretty well right now. But um, when you're starting out, you know, slowly building momentum with them, I think $30 is a pretty good number to get started. You can go a little bit lower. Of course, you can also start higher if your budget allows it, uh, allows that, but you should be aware of the fact that it should be a decent daily budget, right? This is the ideal situation you're in. You have past conversions, you have a somewhat decent budget. And of course, the best way to use them is if you have a lot a lot of products. If you only have five products in your store that you want to advertise, chances are that you will be doing a better job just manually um, adjusting the negative keywords and the bits and doing everything yourself because it's not that much work but the results are most likely going to be better especially in the beginning. So number three, the most important part, when should you really use them and what should you use them for? Well, this is exactly what I've been testing over the past month, as I said, with these, uh, you know, high, with this high uh, five figure spend in smart shopping campaigns. And what I found so far is that 
mainly actually I use them for testing. So there are people who use them for massive scaling, like scaling a single product or something, but I found actually that I prefer to test or to scale the products myself. So if a product does very well, I want to scale it myself to three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a day in ad spend, uh, because then it gets really important that you can do like negative keywords and multiple campaigns with different priorities and all that stuff. So then it's getting really important that you can do all these things. However, in the testing phase, it's usually quite tedious, right? So let's say you want to test 30 products and um, instead of just, you know, doing all this negative keywords on the product level and adjusting the bids all the time, what I like to do now, if the budget is right, um, put all these products into a smart shopping campaign. And in the smart shopping campaign now, Google will go ahead and Google will try like which product works well, which product here gets sold, what can we sell um, at a good rate here on Google. And then at some point when this campaign is doing well, um, usually what happens is that a few products are doing well, others are doing okay and a lot of them are not performing at all. And once I get this data, I like to then isolate the products that are doing well and put them into their own campaign again to scale them, right? So if I have three winners inside a smart shopping campaign over like two weeks or something, I want to isolate them, put them into their own campaigns and then scale this new campaign up with like custom bidding and custom negative keywords, and all that stuff. And then of course, taking these, uh, these products out of the smart shopping campaign and testing other ones uh, instead of these. And this actually turned out to be very successful for us. So as I said, um, I'm not really into scaling products with smart shopping, I'd rather test them. And so far this worked really really well and this is my main use case for using smart shopping campaigns and it turns out to be quite powerful to do it that way so we are usually seeing then like five conversions for a product in smart shopping, 10 conversions, and this is where we then know, okay, we are onto something, and instead of letting it run with 20 other products or 30 other products, we isolate it. One thing that you have to specify for smart shopping is whether you want to use maximize conversions or target ROAS, and we use maximize conversions most of the time, at least in the beginning. Once you have a lot of traction already, and you say like your average ROAS over the past 30 days or something is 350%, you can use that as an anchor so that Google knows you want to stay in that range um, this is normally better if you have some some conversions and then it can also be a little bit more stable but in the beginning I usually use maximize conversions to work with smart shopping and this is exactly how they are working pretty well for us at a five-figure ad spend so yeah this was pretty much it about my newest update for smart shopping campaigns as I said there is only one real major use case that we are currently using them for we try other things but nothing worked so far uh, as good so far as really using them for massive testing so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for you um, and that you now have a better idea of what smart shopping campaigns really are how to use them and when to not use them especially as I said let me know in the comments how you are currently doing with smart shopping would be really interesting to know and also it helps me like come up with some new video ideas probably I need to go into a single direction uh, with them also now it's the time where I slowly start to build a more sophisticated smart shopping lesson in my Google Ads training the PPC Academy so far even in my course there wasn't a real lesson about it because it was just too new for me um, but now I'm currently planning and building a full scale lesson on smart shopping like everything um, I know about them at this point exactly how to use them how to choose the products for smart shopping and all that stuff so if you want to check this out make sure to check the description for the Comp PPC Academy and of course don't forget to claim your full one and a half hour lesson for free that you can also find in the description so I really hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want to learn more about Google Ads and e-commerce on this channel and now I'm wishing you a great day and lots of success with your business I'm looking forward to see you in the next video again guys bye bye